So let's take a look at that now. Now to really explore the power of this, let's add an insert to our through track. We'll go over here to the devices menu. We'll grab our DJ Faves audio effects rack, deposit that on our through track, and then going back over to our clip properties, checking out the envelopes, we can see that we have the option to select either the whole audio effect rack as a device or any of the contained inserts. So let's go ahead and select the audio effect rack as a whole since we know that consolidates a bunch of the controls we want to use. Then we'll select the frequency, which is the frequency of our auto filter. So we can hear what it sounds like unaffected there. And then we can draw in a couple of points in our line here that will create a nice little filter sweep. Pretty cool effect. So now, anytime we trigger this loop, that effect is played back along with it. Meaning, the envelopes of our insert effects are remote controlled by our clip envelopes that we've drawn out here. So there's another way we can use this. We can use the envelope that we've drawn for that insert effect without actually playing back the clip. Now to do that, let's go ahead and create a copy of this loop. We'll name it Filter Sweep. And we'll go ahead and disable this on our original loop. So now we've got the automation for the Filter Sweep. The next thing we're going to do is put this track in monitor mode meaning the track will pass whatever is at the input to the output without adding any additional audio. So I can play back this loop, but we won't hear anything. Because what the track is configured to do is simply pass the input from our source track through this channel without adding any audio. What's cool is that our envelope automation of the insert effects still works. So if when I engage this, we'll see the filter sweep happen even though no audio is being played from the clip. Pretty cool effect. So it really doesn't matter what audio we have in this filter sweep because we're not hearing it anyway. What we're doing is just passing the audio from the source and affecting it with our inserts. This is called a dummy clip, for obvious reasons. No audio is played back, it's just used to automate parameters.